Welcome to the Townsfolk Volume 2 Set Showcase. Today I'll be showing you all the minis from this set which turned out awesome. Right in the city center lies the town hall, the place where the bureaucrats and the city's leaders see the day-to-day -day affairs and administration. Next to it lies the legendary inn, the Blind Cyclops. Meet Sagan and Krasos, the innkeepers of the Blind Cyclops. One of them is an old tiefling and the other a bald old man. Before becoming innkeepers, Sagan and Krasos were mercenaries who traveled all over Elwan. Next up we have the farmers. Polos, Ixten, Olmar and Corion. The vegetables and other products grown in Menesker by the River Valley farmers are sought after across the Lyrian Empire and beyond. Next up we have the Hammer Sisters. The Red Hammer is Menesker's most prestigious forge and it's located beside the town hall. Meet Erika, Carol and Felder Red, who have gained the reputation of being the best smiths the family has ever produced. Next up we have the Low Lives. Menesker's strategic location and economic boom has attracted a varied series of people to its streets. Unfortunately, the jobs created in Menesker are not enough for these new arrivals that are known as Low Lives, and you will be able to find them in most of Menesker's quarters. Next up we have Villagers, the backbone of the city. Hard work is what allowed the city to prosper. Meet Victoria, Siracius, Lorak and Tanata. The geographical position of Menesker influenced the founders who explored the river and claimed the valley for themselves. Next up we have Menesker's noblemen. Menesker's nobility consists mostly of nobles who originally came from other parts of the Lyrian Empire. Meet Lord Mephet, Baron Clovis and Earl Anders. When the Empire occupied Menesker, it bestowed nobility upon a few of its residents, but they still maintained a strong sense of their native identity. Let's keep moving, now to the noble woman. The nobility in the city has pushed to increase their influence over local matters. Lady Sophia, Duchess Eleanor and Grand Baroness Bathor. The individuals representing the nobility are predominantly noble women. Next up, one of my personal favorites, the Mafia Leaders. Since Lyria's invasion, Menesker has had its share of organized crime. Sandras, Typhoon Harry, No Tong Savannah, and Secrets Leander. Four dominant groups have governed the cities for decades. Each govern a section of Menesker known as a district. Menesker has hundreds of fishers who tend to work in teams. Meet Wallen, Naraki, and Margit. They work together often, sailing in one of their small boats to where the Venice River disgorges into the Lyrian Sea. Sir Arjim has been the crier for a decade now. He takes tremendous pride in his work. Under Arjim, this has taken a huge turn as his two assistants Kaspar and Marsim are his animal companions who he trained as criers since one was a pup and the other a fledgling. And that's part of the city of Menesker. We hope you like the miniatures and to go along with them, we have special stud cards that can be used by GMs to show their players how these characters look like before presenting the miniature with stats on the other side. You can 3D print this whole collection right now by following the link in the description. If you like this type of showcases, leave us a comment, a like and don't forget to subscribe. We will see you in the next collections reveal.